Rebecca Gear, the Creative Marketing Manager at Flowcrete, and we're just going to find out now a little bit about what Flowcrete have done in the run up to EcoBuild with their digital marketing. No problem. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, basically, our objective was to promote our attendance at EcoBuild and our new product launch of the Green Floor Zone package. Uh, and we decided to do that with a dedicated microsite on our .co.uk website. Brilliant. Um, the idea really was to host a variety of informative and engaging content pieces on the dedicated microsite video news bulletins uh, that gave people a pre-show taster, podcasts that people could download and get hold of that information on the move, as well as infographics that visually demonstrated the benefits of the Green Floor Zone build-up. So, in summary, the idea was to create content, publish the content, promote the content, and ultimately promote our attendance at the show. It's brilliant. And it, it's all nice and integrated. You've got uh, content, you've used some of the content that you've created on the website here on the stand. Absolutely. We've tried to bring as much as we can uh, into it. Obviously, this infographic was developed uh, primarily for the web, but we wanted to bring it in as a touch point that people could engage with at the show as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. We're integrating everything, everything we're, we're putting on Twitter, everything that we're putting online, we've tried to bring to the show. Is Twitter new for you guys? Um, we've been using Twitter, um, yeah, re reasonably new. We've been using Twitter for about 12 months now, okay. and we've got a following of about 500. Uh, which we're really pleased about. Um, we try and uh, chat quite frequently, as you've seen. Um, obviously, we try not to pigeonhole ourselves into just chatting about one thing. Uh, we, we try and uh, ask questions, spark debates, as well as let them know about new news articles, new case studies, any new photographs. Um, we've got quite a varied amount of, of, of messages going on Twitter, to be honest. How are you measuring uh, leads that are coming through on Twitter? Do you know, say, can you pin down, for instance, where someone's tweeted you guys, you know, you've answered a question that they might have and then engaged with them in another way and that's led to an inquiry or something? Yeah, absolutely. We're looking at the things that we get direct messages from. For example, recently we've had a request for a, a CPD seminar down in London uh, recently and that came through Twitter. We're also looking at our Google Analytics interface to see uh, Twitter, how that's performing as a referral source of traffic. Um, at the last count, Twitter was our second largest uh, source of referral traffic. Uh, and then obviously we're looking at where they're coming from and the goal conversion ultimately being a, a positive contact. Super. And in the run up to, to this show, as you were using Twitter, was there any challenges that you came across or any difficulties at all? I think like most, one of the biggest challenges we faced is trying to communicate in 140 characters or less. <laughs> Sometimes we feel like we've got so much to say and we can sit there for hours, well, hours, uh, quite, a, quite a while trying to cut it down. 